Dobrodošli, gledajte net kontekst u današnjoj emisiji. Govorimo o aktualnoj situaciji u Siriji i o tome koliko su filmovi naše gosta uspeli da na autentičan i potresan način prenesu deo stvarnosti jednog potpuno devastiranog grada. Članovi Sirijske civilne odbrane, organizacije poznate i pod nazivom Beli šlemovi, sastavljene su od stotina volontera koji kopaju po ruševinama tražići i spasavajući zatrpane civile posle vazdušnih napada. Film Poslednji ljudi u Alepu govori o njihovoj borbi. Oni su izabrali da ostanu u Alepu kako bi sačuvali svoje ljude tokom beskonačne opsade. Ali svaki novi dan takođe predstavlja i dilemu da li ostati i rizikovati ili treba izaći i spasiti svoje porodice kao i mnogi drugi. تخيل انت بارك في بيتك ما تحسن البناء كان لعبهم من اول السادس لكن المشكلة ما يعني مشكلة على البناء يعني ما في ما في محل تبعتون عليه <تصفيق> O tome kako izgledaju dani u Siriji i zbog čega je bitno da se čuje i ova strana priče, ali i koje su prognoze za budućnost ove zemlje, razgovaram s rejiteljem Firasom Fejadom, koji je i gost ovogodišnjeg Beldoksa. Good afternoon and welcome to Television N1. So, Last Man in Aleppo won a Sundance Award, and the jury described the movie as a film whose devastating emotional immediacy plunges us into a Shakespearean tragedy. What was your perspective? Actually, because what's going on in Syria is like a tragedy, and... in front of like international community didn't like try like to stop this is the tragedy that's going on and we try like in in the film explain what the reality there how the people lives and this is film it's like take a look and be close as a pictures for for the victim of this is war which is they are the civilians who is fighting for survive for staying and um, how they like try to build, build their life and uh, how they can um, staying for breathing for the last 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 minute in their in, 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 in their cities. What is Aleppo now? Actually this is a question like asked by many politicians in US about 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 Aleppo, which is like Aleppo is is now it's controlled by the Russian forces and Iranian and um, and it's it's empty it there is a two part from Aleppo a part already like from long time controlled by the Syrian regimes and uh, other parts are now empty it's uh, the people that was live in this is part it's like forced to leave the the part Feras Fayed je novinar i pre početka rata je dva puta hapšen i zatvaran pod optužbama da je špijun zapada zbog snimanja uličnih demonstracija protiv režima Bašada El Asada. Jedan deo tog života pretočen je u film On the Other Side.
You spent uh, various months in prison in 2011 after reporting about uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, regime. Um, you were subjected to torture and uh, you were imprisoned without any hope of liberation. Yeah. What do you think about that period of your life now? Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not a reporter. I'm, I'm a filmmaker. I'm an artist. And um, I, do, I do films. And um, this is my, my tools in the life. And uh, all what I do, um, I do documentaries about um, uh, the freedom of speech in Syria. And, um, and I started this documentary in 2009. And um, by the chance, in 2011, the revolution in Syria start, and uh, I, I kept continue to catch the the political and social change in Syria, and then and then I captured by the um, secret police in Syria, and um, for three months, and their torture, and then again for eight months, and uh, I've been witnesses on the the people that killed under torture, and uh, journalists, filmmakers, artists, ordinary people, and I have been seen. A lot of bodies like that already killed children's women, and that's make the situation more worst when 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 the people like get out from the prison or when the people they lost their families, and when I, I get out from the prison like it's make me the prison make me more more stronger make me like I want to continue this is because also what I saw in the prison that make me understand that the people want to continue fighting for uh, against the government they want to change which is like um, they dreaming like in democracy, dreaming in the justice. And um, then, then I just like last minute in Aleppo, it's just like a reflect for the witnesses and uh, my, um, my responsibility about the crime that I have been seen in the street of Syria and in, in, in the prisons. You were accused that you are a spy from West and they arrested you because of that. Is that uh the same sentence that every regime uses when some someone needs to be shut shut actually, down. Yeah, actually, that, that all the regimes like use like the same 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 uh, same ways like for to to like to pull withdraw the the trust from the people who are fighting for freedom of speech. As many other Syrians, Fayez lives in exile. One of the most beautiful cities in Syria, Aleppo, did not see anything like what it was once. You live in Denmark now. Do you feel safe now? No, of course no. Would you ever feel safe? No, no. I, I don't think it's like the safe. It's like safely is something psychological. It's 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 something like physical. It's something psychological more about about how you feel. I mean, when when you just remember all this is memory that that all the time all all the feeling of of losing and the, the dangers like follow you. Which is like, if if you will be killed, you will be killed everywhere because you are all the time like threat the government because you you, you threat like Assad regime or or, or all the all who support this uh, this is regime because you just tell the truth and um, just when I saw this is like footage I just like I remember that um, I forget about about how it looked like like Syria now before I just like remember that the the destruction the building like. A city's destruction completely, refugees and all of that, and um, I can't believe I can't believe someone who is like destroyed his country because of the power. 
Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to Elijah and everyone. Yeah, thank you. Pratili ste Net Context, N1 možete pratiti i na Facebooku i na Twitteru. Prijetan ostatak dana.